Okay, uh, let's start. First of all, I want to thank for the opportunity to present our uh, company and our business uh, model and uh, what's very important, how we, net we are networking with other partners. Uh, the title of the talk is about the development and distribution of food applications. In this case, it's a topic about real life. Uh, in some respect, uh, food applications are reluctant to the digital revolu uh, revolution. Um, first of all, a, sh a short agenda, a short introduction to Anoximia. I will show you our core competence, uh, uh, then the, our products, the key factors on, for our success, and then I will present you uh, our one example, how we de are developing and uh, distributing our products. First of all, comp uh, the company Anoximea is situated, a moment, it's situated in the Life Science Center in Esslingen. Uh, it's a private equity company a small medium enterprise and we, it was founded by three founders. Um, we have, uh, we three founders have different sections of responsibilities. First of all, one is for finance and controlling, one for marketing and business development and me, I'm responsible for research and development. We focus on the development of products for nutrition and our base is research and development. The base of our company, we have been a startup of the University of Regensburg. Our business model is based on sales of our high quality raw materials and our, our developed uh, products and we focus on B2B business. Our core competence uh, is similar to kind of basic research. First, we are strong in analytical chemistry, then in pharmacology, ethnobotany, then uh, that's, well, that's very, very important for, for us uh, on quality control. That means all our uh, raw material, it's checked for the nutritional value, for contaminants, pesticides, uh, herbicides, heavy metals, microbial uh, contaminants, aflatoxin, dioxins, and so on. We also, we ensure the complete food supply chain. I have to stress, we, we will see it later, if we find a new interesting food, uh, we also have a look whether it's uh, available in good supply. Because we, uh, we want to sell it, that means we need tons of the raw material. It's not enough for us, to, for example, to only have one kilogram and then wait for ages until we have enough. We also are very strong in regulatory affairs. For example, for special foods in the European community, there are special regulations in the food area. There are slight differences from country to country, and especially we have the so-called novel food uh, regulations. That means every food which wasn't common food in the European community before 1998 is novel food and you need a special license. You need a special application and we are doing it. It's also we are exporting to Asian countries like Japan, Malaysia, Taiwan, China and the food regulations are almost completely different to ours, especially for example to microbiology and so on. And we all adapt our products and our raw materials to the special regulations. And uh, we also we have, uh, yeah, our strongness is the product development together with other partners. 
Here is the history of, about the collection of our uh, products. We are looking for high quality food. Uh, normally, you know, the normal food we eat, uh, it's almost high in carbohydrates. And they have, mainly they have lost their minerals and vitamins. And we are looking for food with a high nutritional value. That means high in minerals, high in vitamins, high in protein. Uh, the purpose is the maintenance of fitness and longevity. And in some respect, uh, for the prevention of certain diseases. We are looking for eatable plants, that means herbs, fruits, berries, cereals, vegetables, and they, for, also for marketing purposes, we are looking, we are studying uh, literature or even uh, old literature in et ethnobotany to find some traditional health effects for certain food. And then we are improving it and we are developing certain products. As I mentioned, it's uh, very important to, for us to ensure the supply chain and that all the food is according to the European regulations, especially according to the novel food regulation. Okay, what well, are our uh, key factors of success? First of all, that's the most important thing, we uh, rely on the consumer demands. That means we are always working together with, the, with companies which are selling the products to the end consumer because we have to know uh, our end consumers very well. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, we adapt this, our specifications of the raw materials and of the products to the consumer and we do not uh, adapt the consumer <coughs> to the specification. Yeah, you always have to bear about the end consumer. I give you an example. I mentioned we are exporting a lot to the Asian countries. In Germany, the average uh, age of the population is now about 46 years. If you're going to Malaysia or even if you're going to Turkey, the average age is 26 years. That means uh, they, these countries have complete other problems. They have a um, complete other behavior. You know, in, that means, for example, in Germany, uh, the people are more health-related at the age of about 50 years. A lot of them, or some of them, have uh, their first heart attack and so on. They are suffer suffering the beginning of chronic diseases and so on. But if you are younger, you, you, you want to enjoy, you want to have fun and so on. You know, that's a different uh, approach. Then what's uh, especially important for the Asian countries is trustability. For example, the, our Japanese com companies, they are coming to us. They have a look on our fields, they have a look on, in our storehouses, they have a look on our files. And then they say, okay, the quality is in control and your production is in control, we trust you and then we buy it. Also, su uh, sustainability, we make uh, long-term arrangements with our farmers because we want to produce uh, good quality that means, in this case, we will see it later, we are tra transferring our knowledge to the farmers to improve the uh, quality of the raw material of the food. Uh, and again, quality, it's, also, it's very important. Then we are looking for innovations. That means we are looking for, for new uh, applications of the, of the food. That means we are looking for, uh, to produce uh, so-called convenient food that's easy to use. Uh, technology, uh, technology transfer, I mentioned, for example, we are, we are making some experiments in the agricultural area in Germany, and then we are transferring this knowledge uh, to the farmers in uh, South America. And uh, okay, and, pro and product development is very important for us. 
in the, in the next slides, I will show you that we uh, will develop with certain products together with, with, with partners and we are using uh, extremely well our ne uh, special networks. Here I show you the example, it's a plant, Amaranth. I don't know whether it's known in Romania. It's also grown, it's originated in Latin America, but it's also grown in East Europe, even in a smaller amounts in Germany and Austria. Okay, uh, perhaps you know it from your garden. Uh, it's, it's a plant from the family uh, Amantereci. It's the Amaranthus. Uh, it's a, there are a large variety of species, about 60 to 70. It's uh, used like a cereal, but it, it's not a cereal. These are small seeds, but it's, no, it's not like wheat but it's loose like wheat, therefore it's a so-called pseudo-cereal. And as mentioned, it's the main agricultural area is Latin uh, America. In some respect, it will become uh, in the few, a, a kind of plant of the future because due to the climate change, because it's a plant, an undemanding plant, it does not need a special soil and it does not need irrigation. We will see uh, in Latin America, it grows in, in the height of about 300 meters. Okay, here a little bit about the history, Ethno or ethnobotany of the Amaranth. It's one of the oldest crops of mankind. It was used since about 8,000 years. It was a staple food in Latin America. It was a holy plant of the Aztecs and Incas. It was very precious for them. And the, after the conquer of the Spanish, the Spanish conquistadors, they destructed all the fields for amaranth and they prohibited uh, the growth, the cultivation of amaranth. Then it became forgotten for centuries and during the last uh, decade it was recovered uh, or rediscovered again. Now, these are the uh, basic nutritional values of the amaranth seeds. You see, it looks like these, these are small seeds. And these are uh, the basic nutritional values out of our research. And the interesting thing is uh, that it is rich in proteins. Uh, this plant has a very, very unusual amino acid profile. For, for example, it's high in lysine. There's always, for example, in, in soya, there's a lack of lysine. Then it contains omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Mostly you will find these in fish, but here you will find it in a plant. And then there's a lot of fiber in it and it is strong in vitamins and also in minerals. It is especially high in iron and uh, what's an, also an unusual component, it's qualin. You need it for your skin. Uh, normally you can add it if you eat shark, but uh, shark is a very unusual dish. And what becomes most important also in Europe, it's gluten-free. All the persons, you know, one, uh, two to five percent of the European uh, population are suffering from celiac disease. That's due to the presence of gluten in, for example, wheat. It's also what becomes for us very important. It is uh, GMO-free and it's uh, vegan. Okay, uh, you have seen the seeds. If I'm presenting these seeds to you and say, okay, you see, it's very healthy for you, eat it, then normally you will become reluctant because you will ask me uh, how to boil it, how to prepare it, how to cook it, how to use it. And therefore, we are trying to develop uh, finished products which are easy to use, which are convenient. And we are doing this, this together in a network, together with our partners. With our partners. Uh, in this case, for example, we are 
First of all, we are improving the technological properties. We are going for special fractions. We are doing bakery and we are also uh, producing uh, convenient foods. The first thing is we, we ensure the quantity and the quality of the product. That means we are going to the farmers in Latin America, in this case to Peru, in the valley of Cota Huasi. That's an area about attitude 300 meters and there are no pesticides, no heavy metals and so on. That's a really uh, uh, good food. And we are also going for the cert uh, certificates like organic, kosher, and now even halal. Okay, here, here again the region, it's a, it's a nice area. Attitude about 2,000 to 300 meters about sea level. Here we are together with the partners, in this case the farmers. We are improving the agriculture. In this case it's uh, important for us. We are transferring the knowledge of our universities to the farmers. And it's, in this case we are kind of mediators. We, uh, we understand the language of the universities and we are translated in the uh, language of the farmers. Yeah, that was the first thing here, networking with farmers to ensure the quantity and the quality of the raw materials. And here these are the products which improved technological properties. For example, we are pro producing floors for, for, for bakery, other applications like bars. In this case, we need milling facilities, large-scale milling facilities and uh, the, uh, the milling facilities they are producing in these floors in the ton scale. Also you can go for, you can uh, pop amaranth like you know from maize, popcorn and these uh, popcorn you can use it for example in muesli or you can uh, use it in bars and so on. Also you can put on uh, pressure on the seeds with the combination with water and heat and you will get some extra dates and yes you can make some yeah, certain snacks for example. The next thing special fractions. Uh, out, there is a um, fatty oil in the amaranth and you can uh, cold press it and in this case you need a special technology and in this case we have partners which are able to, to press these, uh, these, seed, uh, these seeds and we will obtain in this case an oil which contains qualin and omega-3 and omega-6. Another point is a special fraction to obtain uh, this protein. In this case uh, we have, if we have to produce larger quantity, uh, quantities, we need some, uh, in the, we have to do the extraction in the pilot uh, range. In this case we are going for example to the Fraunhofer Institute uh, for, for, for example for spray uh, drying in the 100 kilo scale and so on. Normally you know in the lab you only can go for 100 grams but you can't, can't go for 100 kilograms. Bread, very important for example here with bakeries in combination we can prepare gluten-free bread. Also for example cookies, crackers, chips, in this case they don't contain protein, not just carbohydrates or you can prepare delicious uh, snacks. Convenient foods, amaranth is also used in baby food. Or you can use it as muesli in combination with other cereals. In this case you just put on juice or uh, milk and you can use it. Or what's also interesting, you can uh, uh, prepare so-called wedges. These are without meat. These, uh, it's a special topic for all the regions. Okay, in summary, uh, what I want to sh show you we are able to develop, in, with the help of our partners in our network, high quality food applications. 
which are suitable for the end consumer. Yes, that, that means we are developing something and at the same time it is it's developed, our partners, they sell it. Yeah? They can uh, distribute it immediately. We don't have to wait. Uh, for us, for Natra Naxemir, we, uh, we can enlarge our portfolio for, for, for our uh, customers. And our partners, they have the products, uh, the, uh, the advantage, they have new products which they can sell. Uh, we are using also their services. And uh, all together, we are covering the complete uh, value chain uh, of, the, of the production. Here are some of our partners. You see there are some, a lot of the, uh, of the universities or of the University of Applied Sciences. We also we have, for example, here for milling in the industrial scale, also for applications, bakeries, also what's important for us for com communication and so on. In this case, we are using also the uh, facilities of the Steinbeis. And here also very important, these are our partners and farmers in, in Peru. Thank you for your kind attention.